Welcome to Crawdaddy's Custom Crankbaits. Tonight I'm just going to play around and do one of these Griffin knockoffs. I think that's what it's called, a Griffin. Um, you can get them at Lureville.com. Um, I'm going to do a blue color crawfish just because I've got some eyes, glass eyes I want to use that I got from Lure Build. Um, so I just want to use these glass eyes and come up with some kind of little blue crawfish. I went ahead and did my shell patterns and my, and my dots that I wanted just to save time. All I'm going to do is just take some Bombay blue ink. Um, not mixing anything with it. Might mix a little bit of alcohol just to make it a little bit thinner so I can put on thinner layers and build it up. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take some this is 50% alcohol and 50% water. Just putting just a little bit in there, not much. It's gonna come across the top and just slightly build it to the color I want. I am going to do one thing because this is so small. I'm just going to take a pinch of silly putty. That's all this is, is just plain old kid silly putty. If I can get it to stick. Gonna run it along that shell marking. Keep it off the bottom. The only reason I'm doing this is so small. Just gonna come around this, just darken this shell line a little bit. Trying to go light with it and build it up. Oh, come on. Does it give me a hard time tonight? But it is.
pull some of that to be lighter. I may do something a little bit different than I planned on. Just to give it a different look. I'm not for sure if I want to do it or not. this out of my airbrush. I'm thinking about coming over the whole thing with candy yellow. I did a bait a long time ago with that method and it turned out pretty cool, but, but then I may just keep it blue. Not real sure if I want the bottom to stay that pearl white. Put a candy on it. Yeah, what the heck. I'm going to go ahead.
Clean this out of my airbrush. While I'm playing around. We'll try something else. Don't know if it's gonna work or not work, but if it doesn't, I know I won't ever do it again. Take some S and S color shift. Shoot across that top. just turned it but it looks neat Put me some super glue on top of this lid. Gotta be kidding me. There you have it. Since this video is not that long, I think what I'm gonna do is maybe go ahead and epoxy it while I wanna get my little gram scale my cup, I turn it on. I'm gonna get it right about 35, uh, well, 36, a little bit more than I wanted, but we're gonna go with that. I'm using Bob's epoxy. I've not had no issues with it. Um, I've got some more just trying to use up what I've got in this bottles. There is one thing I've noticed when you're using the epoxy 
and candies if you don't seal it you know with something and you put alcohol to make that epoxy a little bit thinner it will make that KB, uh, candy smear on you here i'm not using any alcohol in it uh, because i put candy on it and i've never really had no trouble but i'm just mixing it up good Here, don't, I don't have that much in there, so I'm not going to have to sit here and mix it a long time. Just try to make sure I get it mixed up. I don't normally epoxy my bills. Every once in a while, somebody wants one epoxied, I will. Um, there's no really need in doing it sides that it's just that you want it done and i've mixed up way more epoxy than i need but Making sure I get it down in the eye socket. Just going over it, make sure I got a good coverage on it. And this spot right here was something in the bait. I don't know what it was, but even when I primed this, that, that, that line would not disappear. I, I don't know what it was, but it did not want to disappear. And I wasn't going to throw this bait away for no reason. So I figured I'd just go ahead and use it. But that's all there is to it. Um, if I've got this bait here. I'm working on some balsa baits i might as well use a little bit of this epoxy right here where it separated it on me a little bit um, i was watching a video of someone else who does balsa baits and it's such a pain to, to seal these things and he started putting a layer of epoxy on it uh, before he painted it and sanded it and painted it so I'm trying that method and but this is one I, I made myself um, and I'll put epoxy on it so it has a smooth paint to it and I just stuck my palm to that thing But when you have your brush, don't throw your brushes away. Don't waste them. Um, I just squeeze out the excess epoxy. This is just 90% alcohol. Just stick it in there and clean your brush out. You don't have to sit here and clean it a lot. Wipe it off, and you get maybe 
five or six uses out of it of putting epoxy on instead of wasting brushes. But anyway, that's what I came up with tonight, just playing around with this Griffin uh, bait. Uh, using You can get this from lurebuild.com. He sells these. He sells the eyes. I just want to play around with some other wacky color and put a color shift on it that you can see changing. I was afraid it wouldn't do it. You need to put it over black, but actually you can see it changing. So, but anyway, that's what I had for y'all tonight at Crawl Daddies. Hope y'all enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll be seeing you then.